Okay, so the student council has decided to sell NHL hockey shirts during the upcoming playoffs as a school fundraiser. The cost to print a shirt is the sum. So like this is adding a fixed cost and a variable cost. Okay, so adding a fixed cost and a variable cost. It costs $75 to print 100 shirts. So when we read these questions, we have to make sure that we can connect these two. So 75 and 100 go together and it costs $150 to print 400 shirts. So again, those two numbers go together. And if we let S represent the number of shirts and C represent the cost, then as an ordered pair, these would be 100 comma 75 and they would be 400 shirts comma 150. Okay, so what is the fixed cost and what is the constant of variation and what does it represent? So these two, um, they're really tied into each other because we're going to find these two and then write an equation that describes this linear relation. So if we were to put these in a table, for example, S, C, if we had 100, we had 400, this was 75, this is 150. If we did a little bit of patterning, so let's go 0, 100, 200, 300, and then 400. Okay, so if we did a little bit of patterning, if we went from 75 to 150, but we went up one, two, three times, we would have to go 75 and then then 100, 125, 150. Okay, so if we pattern down from 75, we would get 50. Therefore, in the table of values, we can always identify what the starting cost is or the, the fixed cost because the x coordinate, the x, in this case s, is going to have a zero and then the y or the dependent variable, that's going to be our starting cost. So, our fixed cost is $50, okay? So no matter what, they have, they have to pay $50 even if they don't sell any shirts, okay? And what is the constant of variation? Well, we just said it's going to go up by $25 for every 100 shirts that they sell. So 0.25. I get 25 cents per shirt. Okay, what does it re represent? It represents that it costs $25 or 25 cents per shirt that they sell. Okay, and write an equation that describes this linear relation. Okay, we know that this is in the form y equals mx plus b. We're using c and s and our constant of variation is 0 0.25, and our y-intercept, or our starting point, is $50.